Hi, David Rollin here with Guitar Control. This was all minor pentatonic, pure minor pentatonic, but played in uh, an unconventional way with a sequence that uh, I want to show you today and that is going to probably give you new ideas and you're going to be able to come up with your own new sequences. The possibilities are endless with this kind of idea and uh, we're going to take a look at that in the close-up. For this idea, we're going to work in the key of B minor pentatonic. Once you learned it in that, um, in that key, you can transpose that anywhere you want, but we'll start in B minor pentatonic. And we're only going to use notes from that B minor pentatonic. In order to understand the sequence, I want you to look at your guitar, and from your perspective, when you're looking at your guitar, not from the video, but from your perspective, you'll notice that we have a left note and a right note each time because there are only two notes per string. So if I play ascend my pentatonic scale, I'll have left, right, left, right, left, right, and so forth. And that's going to help you understand and memorize that sequence. We're going to start on the left note of the high E string. So that'll be on the first string, fret number 7. That's the left note. The right note would be fret 10, but we're starting on the left note. Then we'll go on the second string and play the left note again. And then on the next string, the third string, we'll play the right note, which is the ninth fret. And then back on the second string, and we're going to play the right note. So the four notes are left, left, right, right. And the order of strings are string 1, 2, 3, 2 and the sequence should make sense to you now. So that's what it is. Let me play this lick, and the tabs are available. You can check the, the description of this video for a link where you can download those tabs. Hope you enjoyed this idea, and I really hope that it inspires you to come up with new sequences. Take this simple concept, learn it, and expand on that. Use it over backing tracks, use it in jam situations, use it even alone when you're playing alone. Get that technique, that sequence under your fingers and use it. And you'll see that if you use it enough, it's going to become really part of your own musical vocabulary. It's just like when you're learning a new word. At first, when you use it, it might be a little uncomfortable. It might feel a little forced. But soon enough, it'll be an entire part of your your choices of words that you have to, to make a conversation. That's just what music is all about. If you like this video, like it. Subscribe to this channel too, because more videos are coming soon, more ideas, more concepts for you to explore. Practice well. I'll see you next time.